Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Monday, June 19th, 2017. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A top Vatican official is defending his appointment of an abortion supporter to the Pontifical Academy for Life. In an interview Saturday, Archbishop Vincenzo Paglia, head of the Pontifical Academy, reaffirmed the Vatican's stance opposing abortion, but justified his choice of Anglican Nigel Bigger, claiming the appointee has never written about abortion and would not be engaging in abortion debates while he's a member. In 2011, Bigger said he would support abortion up to 18 weeks when he feels proven brain activity indicates consciousness. Paglia recently came under fire for commissioning a homoerotic mural in his cathedral in Italy. The Vatican has hosted its first ever conference on organized crime. Held last week, the Vatican invited 50 prosecutors, United Nations officials, bishops, and victims of the mob for a day of discussions. An official statement released Saturday declared the church would consider, quote, the question of excommunication for corruption and mafia association. This confirms the Pope's own past denunciations of the mafia, who in 2014 declared all mafia members excommunicated and who said on another occasion, quote, hell awaits you if you continue on this road. 69 priests in the diocese of Rutang, Indonesia, have resigned after accusing their bishop of embezzling and of having an affair. The resignation letters sent this past week are demanding an overhaul in how the diocese is run. Last year, 112 out of 167 diocesan priests signed a letter of no confidence in Bishop Hubertus Leteng after accusing him of mismanaging $100,000. A spokesman for the group is demanding the overhaul so that the church can be, quote, truly in line with the guidance of the Holy Spirit. The hit show, Last Man Standing, is in talks to air on a new network. Starring Tim Allen as a conservative blue-collar worker, the popular comedy series was unexpectedly canceled in May after a successful six-year run, with many speculating it was because of its conservative leanings. New reports now claim cable channel CMT is in early stages of talks to revive the show, still exploring whether it can afford the expensive series. Allen's character on the show made fun of Hillary Clinton, social justice warriors, and liberal snowflakes, among others. A group calling itself the Global Catholic Climate Movement is marking the two-year anniversary of Pope Francis's encyclical, Laudato Si, by launching a website urging Catholics to take a pledge to, quote, pray for and with creation, live more simply, advocate to protect our common home. The Global Catholic Climate Movement's website also encourages Catholics to fast for climate justice and features videos by pro-gay Jesuit Father James Martin and Father Dan Horan, who vocally supported the anti-Trump pro-abortion women's march in Washington, D.C. in January. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about Catholic smarts. And check out the download, where the panel discusses Catholic education. Please share your headlines with your friends, see us on Facebook and Twitter, and may God bless you.